Okay, so uh, now we move on to activity number two of the 2014 June past paper. And activity number two is about using web authoring software, okay, where you're supposed to be creating a uh, web page, okay. So you may use any appropriate software for this activity. We will be using Adobe Dreamweaver. So task WA1, Philip has purchased a new bicycle for rental. It is a mountain chaser bicycle that he has named Silver Sprite, okay. He wants to add a page to the company website about the bicycle okay so please do understand now that the web page that he wants to create uh, is going to be about this bicycle okay about this silver sprite bicycle so philip wants to include the image silver sprite from the images folder so check whether you have it if you open the images folder yes we do have an image called silver sprite okay he wants the image cropped before it is used so crop the image so that the image remains rectangular the cropping is as close as possible to the cyclist and the bicycle okay so we have to initially do some cropping so what i'll do is i'll open it with paint because uh, that's quite easy open with we have paint over here and uh, question paper told us image should be rectangular and the cyclist and the bicycle should be visible okay everything else should be cropped out so i'm going to select only those two whilst maintaining it as a rectangular image yes so yeah i think this is pretty much rectangular and you can click on crop okay so there you go and then i'm gonna and they just told me to save it right <coughs> save the cropped image okay so you just click on save and then that's it okay so create the web page the web page is based on this design okay so this is the layout that uh, they want us to be using uh, and the house style has also been given to us okay information about silver sprite is stored in the file information so do check out if you have the file information let's have a look at it yes we do have it and uh, inside information you can find all the text that you need to put on the web page okay this is the text that needs to be going there uh, so create the web page using the layout shown in the design so like I have been previously telling you all, okay, when it comes to designing a web page, it's always best to put the layout in the form of a table. Okay, so if you consider this as a table, you can consider this area as one column, okay, from here to here, one column. This area all the way up to here can be considered as a second column, and then this can be considered as a third column, okay, so we have one column, two columns, and this can be the third column, okay, so we have three columns, and how many rows, this can be the first row, and this can be the second row okay so let me open dreamweaver right now come over here and say open dreamweaver okay just give it a few seconds it's a heavy program so uh, it might take a few seconds to load up and uh, once you open it say you want a new html document okay there you go so reminding you all again remember we have three views in uh, Dreamweaver one is the code view okay so if you are good with the coding you can stick with the code view we have split view where you can have both of them next to each other or if you if you if you are not so good with the coding you only can you want to focus on the design you can simply stick on to design view and remember what is live live is basically to see how it would look on your web page okay so the remember if you are in live view if live view is on you will not be able to make any modifications to your website you will have to first switch off live view then you will be able to make any modifications that you want to your website okay to your website to your web page okay so now uh, previously i told you we will be requiring three columns and two rows okay so i'm going to come over here insert table and uh, i'm simply going to say three uh, sorry two rows and we need three columns and once again table table width is going to be kept at 100 percent okay not pixels keep it at percent so that no matter which screen this web page is viewed on it will always fit the entire screen it will not be too much too little no it will exactly fit okay and you can keep one uh, for the border thickness you can keep it as one or if you do not want any borders you can make it zero completely up to you so i'm going to click okay and my table has been created so now let me start putting the content so company name and telephone number you can see it's coming in the first row first column and second column have been merged okay the first row first column and second column have been merged so i'll do the same thing first row first column and second column so that i selected both of them right click table and i'm going to say merge cells okay so i selected the first column and second column right click table merge cells and over there what's supposed to appear the company name and telephone number so company name telephone number these details can always be found at the beginning of the paper 
So let me scroll all the way to the top. If you come over here. So the company name is uh, P Triple M Cycles Limited. Let me just copy that. Control C, Control V. Uh, oh, it doesn't understand that font. So let me type it myself then. I got stuck. Just give it a few seconds. Oh, it seems like my Dreamweaver has crashed. Uh, let's open it up again, Adobe Dreamweaver. And uh, go for a brand HTML document. So we're going to start again. Uh, fortunately, my one crashed for some reason. I guess it was that font that was a problem. So we need three columns, two rows, 100%, and we can go with OK. And remember, these two need to be merged. So right click, table, merge cells. And over here, company's name is P Triple M Cycles. And uh, it's supposed to be LTD Limited. T -T. OK. And the telephone number is going to be 01632. 01632, Alter tab. 9601239601239 okay so anything else to add over there let's go back to our question the bothering question no it's just the company name and telephone number now so we all know that this is the main heading of the web page so let's make let's make it heading number one let's come to paragraph format and say heading one okay so you can see over here this has been made okay the next what we have is in the first row third column we have the logo okay so uh, click over here and in your folder you should be having the logo inside the images folder here you go you have logo so i'm just going to say Control c copy it and i'm going to paste it over here i'm going to say okay and alternate text means if the image does not load is there anything that you want to display so i'll display the text as logo so i have my logo it's obviously way too big let's from the corners while holding the shift key make it smaller so it proportionally becomes smaller and then I think it's better that we have the logo on the right hand side. So I'll just right click and say align right. Okay, there you go. And we can make this smaller. Okay, there you go. It's properly, proper, uh, properly fitting. And then next part in the question is we need to have in the second row, second row first column link to home page. Okay, so I'm just going to type over here home page. You can type home, whichever you prefer. And you have to link it back to the home page, the uh, main address of the website. So the main address of the website, it has not been mentioned over here. Once again, you will have to go back to the top of your paper to the beginning of your paper and here it says this is the address of the home page okay so p triple m cycles.com so select this text and say that it should go to the following link triple w dot p triple m cycles.com okay and don't forget to press enter so now the hyperlink has been created so when i click on home page it will be going to p triple m cycles.com okay so that's also done uh, going back to our question now over here you can see the page content and the cropped image have to appear and you can see they all have to appear center aligned okay so let me and also if you notice you can see that uh, second row second column third column have been merged so let me do that as well second column third column of the second row i'm going to right click table and say merge cells okay obviously this is way too big so let's make this smaller maybe this much is enough okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cursor in the center, align center. So you can now see this, you can now see the cursor blinking in the center. And now let's get the information. Let's simply copy all this. Okay, control C and control V. Okay, there you go. And then below this, I'm supposed to be inserting the cropped image. Okay, that cropped silver sprite image. So go into your folder. We have it over here, control C. And keep the cursor in the center make sure the cursor is in the center before you insert the image okay control v say okay and say this is silver sprite 
okay perfect uh if i were you i would just make a few small modifications you see these are kind of kind of subheadings right name of the bicycle the bicycle type description these are kind of subheadings so what i'll do is i'll make these heading two so let me select this right click paragraph format and say heading two but see when i make that heading two silver sprite is also becoming heading two so let me undo this you can press ctrl z to undo it so what you would have to do is take this to the next line just press enter take this to the next line take this to the next line now you will be able to make this a subheading paragraph format heading two okay there you go paragraph format heading two and this two you will be able to make it the uh, heading number two okay so i hope you understood why i brought it down so that they get separated otherwise this is also becoming heading number two okay okay uh so basically we have got everything that needs to be there we only have the house style remaining so the background color is pale blue while the text is dark blue so pale blue and dark blue so if you want to modify the entire page you come to modify and you come to page properties so remember whatever you insert into page properties applies to the entire page okay so we said the text should be dark blue and the background should be pale blue okay so let's take a very kind of a lightish blue something like this maybe yeah and say apply okay there you go that has been done as well uh next we have something called make sure the web page is fit for purpose okay display the full web page on screen make sure all content is visible take a screenshot of the web page okay so if you want to see how your web page looks on the web browser you can click on live view so when you're going to live view it's showing you how it looks but you can see yeah the whole web page is visible right yes everything is visible so we need to take a screenshot so you can either go for snipping tool okay you can either go for snipping tool and select the area that you want or you can simply press print screen on your keyboard okay print screen i'm gonna go with that and then the question paper says save the web page as new bicycle so i'm just gonna come over here and say file save and make sure you save it in your folder itself be very organized when it comes to saving your files it's supposed to be saved as new bicycle that's also done and then the next part of the question says open a new document using word processing software you have to enter these details in the footer you have to paste a screenshot and you have to save your document as task wa1 so i'm sure you guys have kept practicing with this you guys can do it very easily so i'm going to go to my folder right click new word document task wa1 open it and I'm immediately going to go all the way down to the footer, double click on the footer. I'm going to type task WA1, your name, candidate number, center number. Okay. Don't forget to close it. And you're supposed to paste your screenshot. Okay. You can simply say control V. Okay. There you go. Screenshot has also been pasted. And next, what do we have? uh save the document as task a and do not print yet okay so we are not going to be printing yet because we have two questions coming up so answer these questions on the document task wa1 explain how two formatting features you have used to make the web page fit for purpose okay so you're supposed to talk about two formatting features that you have used on your web page that make it fit for purpose so when it comes to formatting you can talk about font color you can talk about font size you can talk about background color you can talk about uh, what do you call uh, alignment okay all these are formatting features things that you did to make your web page look more attractive or to look more organized so it's best you select two features that you can explain you can describe well okay do not take a feature which you cannot talk about okay so let me first put the question number it's question number c and this is the first one okay so this is two fe formatting features so the first feature i'm going to go is the headings okay i use different headings this is heading one this is heading two so let me talk about that first uh i used different headings headings so that the viewer will be able to distinguish between what is the main heading and what are the subheadings okay so basically what i did was i made this h1 which means main heading and name of new bicycle bicycle type and description 
I made them as heading two, which are subheading. So when users view the web page, they know, okay, this is the main heading because it's much bigger than these. These are all subheadings, okay? Another formatting feature that you can talk about is, uh, you can talk about, uh, what should I talk about? Uh, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about, you know, uh, background color maybe font color you can talk about font size let's talk about background uh, this the font color okay very simply we can say uh, I also used uh, what was it dark blue dark blue as the font color uh, so that it would be visible so that the text so that the text would be visible on a light blue background okay uh, the next question we can the next question goes as uh, describe one change to the web page that would make it more accessible for visually impaired users so they are saying us for us to describe a change that we would make to this web page that people who cannot see properly will be able to use this web page so there are many answers you can give for example one is you can say having a background color and the font color from the same uh, what do you call both are blue okay one is darker one is lighter but still both are blue it might be difficult for some people to distinguish okay so you can say change the colors okay or else you can say use larger fonts that can be another uh, option you can say enable narrator on the website so that people as they keep the so users as they keep the cursor on the text the website will read out what the text is enable narrate on the website okay so i'll just go with uh, use larger fonts okay that's a much easier answer uh, question asks describe one change so i would say i would increase the font size to a much larger size so that visually impaired users will be able to easily read the text on the web page okay so if you have another answer you definitely can put that okay uh okay so i think that's the end of the paper okay resave task wa1 and then you're supposed to be printing it so if you do have a printer do try printing it okay so i hope this was pretty clear for you all you got it uh, if not if you didn't get it you're still having some doubts you know my email address you can either comment below with your question or you can email me with your question okay uh, okay see you in the next video all the best